It is finally siding day. The house is ready and we are ready to get siding put on it. We are installing an LP Smart Side lap siding. It's an eight inch board. This is the nailer I'm gonna be using. This is a boss ditch siding nailer. I picked up a handy little thing that I wanted to show you guys before I start. If you can see it. It's supposed to help you nail the siding. See the siding nailer comes with a regular tip on here. I can pull this off. So I pulled the tip off there, the protective tip, and this goes right over the end of the gun. And let me just tighten it down, I'll show you guys. So I got it nice and snug on there, and the idea is that um, you just rest that little piece of metal sticking out on the top of the siding, and it gives you the perfect three quarter inch drop that you need to put your nail in in the proper place. That way I don't have to sit there and eyeball it. I'm not a siding pro, so I'll be able to just rest that on the siding and know that my nail is going to be in the right spot every time. It also is springy. So that if I need to flush nail something, I can also still do that um, without that getting in the way. So, kind of cool. Looking forward to trying that out. I think we're starting over here. We got a line marked. We're going to get working. Into. I can just eyeball this one, I think. Right there. <laughs> Where's the spacer? We'll eyeball it. It's close enough that we can see it. Yeah, with the tool. That's fine. So we're ending day one of the siding project. We got half the back wall done. That's a big progress. And also got the starter board all the way around the house. We're going to work on this a little each day. We're not looking to burn ourselves out, just get it done. It's looking beautiful. I know on the other spot, on the other part of the house where we had to stagger them, those cracks don't look so good, but they're going to blend away once we get the caulk in there. And that's to make sure that the wood can expand and contract without buckling. You don't want it to start bowing out. It's going to get all wobbly and ugly. We love how it looks. It's got great texture. Really looks like wood, like a heavy wood grain. We didn't want the vinyl siding look, and this really gets away from it. I feel like it's pretty cool. So that's all there is for day one. We'll see you on day two.
we're back and we're on day two of the siding installation, so let's get working. I think we're gonna work on this side of the house now, get as much done as we can today. Now we had some rain and I wanna show you guys something kind of annoying is look at all the splash up on the siding, on the foundation. Our new siding already filthy, so we're definitely gonna address that. We have some plans to cover all this dirt up. Probably gonna get some mulch. That's the plan at least. So that'll be coming soon. Hopefully we can keep this somewhat clean while we work until we can get to that next step. We're cutting these from the back side. I just wanted to point that out because the front side is painted and rubbing this metal, um, what is this called? <laughs> well, rubbing know. the saw against it could mar the finish. We don't want to do that. But also, the blade cuts upward. It spins this way with the teeth pointing up. It'll help prevent splintering of the front by cutting it from the back. Because it's pulling upward. So if there's any splintering, it'll be on the back side. So that's our handy tip of the day. And then so, you get a nice clean edge on the front. And then once we make a cut, we have to take the paint and paint the edge. This is actual uh, color matched paint from the manufacturer. It's supposed to be good stuff. What is that fat thing? You found a fluffy, cute one. It was a struggle to get him, get him out of the tree while he was on a high branch. All right, the rain is upon us. We gotta get this piece up and get everything wrapped up really fast. Yeah, this is how it runs. 
Yeah, we gotta put those boards on top of it. We turn this over. So it's not yep. Boy, this weather is so unpredictable. It was raining and then it just cleared up like nothing ever happened. It just keeps coming on and off like that. I'm tempted to keep working, but I'm afraid to uncover everything, not knowing what's gonna happen next. Instead, I think I'm gonna change gears for just a minute and run to the store because I'm looking at the splash up, especially on the front of the house, which is gonna be hard to see with the sun against it. But um, where the rain is coming off the roof, I know gutters, we didn't wanna do gutters. Um, but it's coming off the roof, hitting the dirt, and splashing up on the foundation and the siding. I want to take care of that problem before everything gets filthy. So I think we're going to just go ahead and pick up some mulch. I also have to buy some flashing for over the windows and maybe some extra white paint. So might as well take a break, go to the store, and get some shopping done. All right, day three, we're back out here hoping to get some more work done on the house. Um, I wanna get this done. Just this wall done today and I'll be happy. If we can get that done, then I'll try to get more done, but we'll see. Hopefully no rain today and we're gonna get working. We're making a little bit of progress, got a couple boards up. This part is getting a little harder because it's harder to reach. Uh, the two ladders is making it easier, but it's still a little bit out of that comfort zone. But I just wanted to show you guys something else. We never showed you yesterday. We got our mulch for around the house, so hopefully we can tackle that mud splash problem soon. Uh, we're gonna keep working on siding for now, but at some point we'll get out here and start leveling the ground and mulching it up. It's gonna look so good. How can you ignore a bee in your face? Look at it landed. It's, I'm trying to hammer in nails. Hey Bill, that was a good idea. I'm getting pretty excited because we got to our first angle cut at the top up there. That means we're almost done with this side. The peak should go pretty quickly. 
but there's going to be a lot of these cuts and a lot of waste. So I hope my cut's good, hope it fits, but progress update, slowly but surely getting it done. The siding's been pretty good to put up. I know there is ways to speed it up with jigs. We just decided not to get those jigs, but we're doing okay working together. Do that. Put it on the siding. All you gotta do is hold it up there. Okay. So we're gonna finish this whole side today. We're trying to. Okay. Wait. Did you do the other end? We're down to the last piece, just this little one, to finish off this wall. And we're gonna be done with the wall. We're gonna take a break. It's looking so good and I'm just happy to get this far. Well guys, we did it. We got the wall done. It's looking awesome. We still have to caulk the cracks. All the seams, all the butt joints get filled with caulk and along the trim also and that's how it gets sealed up. There's actually, th I think, three different ways to do the, those cracks, and this is the option that we chose. Um, we'll work on that here and there. It looks awesome, and after we caulk it, we're gonna touch up the nails. We had the face nail on the top. We'll paint those with that touch-up paint. So we kind of documented this process day by day uh, to give you guys an idea of how long it takes, because we do get those questions. How long did that project take? So three days of working of work. to get this far. Yeah, we take breaks here and there. We do what we can. Some days are long, some days are short. Depends on the day and what else we have going on. Uh, but three days, we got the back done. And remember all of this, the half of the back, the back, the other back, done here. So that's not too bad. I think we're making good progress because if that's three days, then you can picture another three days we'd yeah. get the other end done, half of the front done, and yeah, should be not too bad at all. Yeah. I guess we're gonna end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed coming with us. If you guys have any questions, put them below. We have a few more videos of this coming, so we'll try to address them as we put them out, and I think that's it. So thanks for watching, and until next time, take care. Bye. <laughs>